We are actively engaged in the great expansion of our air defenses with, I believe, the full approval of the whole of the country. This means many more aircraft of the latest types, much more equipment and material, and above all, a great increase in our air personnel. During this year, we need in all 31,000 men, a record number. We want more than 2,000 pilots. They must be young men of between 17 and a half and 25 years old who have had a good education of school certificate standard. There are openings for air observers also. But our greatest need is of airmen. 26,000 are wanted. We need skilled craftsmen and unskilled men willing to learn a trade, most of them between 17 and a quarter and 35 years old. Many of these new posts will not only afford an opportunity to serve in a service vital to this country, but it will ensure the best training in skilled trades which hold out good prospects for employment in the future and a useful career. Sir Kingsley Wood first cabinet post was Postmaster General in which he transformed the British Post Office from a bureaucracy to a business. As Secretary of State for Air in the months before the Second World War he oversaw a huge increase in the production of warplanes to bring Britain up to parity with Germany. One of the Air Secretary's first actions on the 19th of May 1938 was to hold a meeting with Lord Nuffield at which he put forward a new plan far bolder and more sweeping than anything discussed in the past. With little consultation, he proposed that Nuffield should build a massive new factory which would begin its work by manufacturing a thousand Spitfires. This vast order almost doubled the total given to Supreme and more than three times that pledged to Ferry belied Wood's reputation for caution. When the news was made public two months later, this was the largest single order for one type of aircraft ever placed. In briefing notes for the Prime Minister, the Air Ministry warned that the plan was unorthodox in its scope and in its funding. It could not strictly be described as part of the official scheme program for 12,000 new aircraft by 1940, since it was unlikely that all the thousand Spitfires would be built within the two-year period. Nevertheless, the order could be justified on long-term grounds, since it has always been contended that in order to be effective as a war potential, a factory must plan and carry out an initial order and must be jigged for large-scale production of a given type. And there was no type more badly needed than the Spitfire. As well as the two speeches, these pictures show Sir Kingsley Wood touring the Supermarine factory on the River Itchen at Wollstone in Southampton and inspecting the new Spitfire aircraft at the Eastleigh Aerodrome. We believe we shall receive a great response, but I am anxious that it shall be made at once. I invite all interested, therefore, to make their applications immediately, so that we shall, with all speed, obtain the additions to our Air Force that are so necessary to our country today. 